Hey guys, have you ever scrolled through these videos comments and wondered who the hell is Susan Yara? It's me and tonight I'm gonna show you my nighttime skincare routine. So let's get ready for bed. So my skin type is generally dry. Um, it's been a little bit drier than usual. It's cold outside right now, it's winter. Um, I also just had a baby a few months ago, so that really takes a lot out of you because, especially if you like breastfeed and everything, doing my nighttime skincare routine is really important because it's the time that I get to myself, especially with two kids, one is a toddler, one is an actual baby baby. I wanna make sure I'm using products that give me the most bang for my buck um, and that are fixing problems that you have post-pregnancy. There's really not much you can do while you're pregnant. You can't do major treatments. You can't use really strong active ingredients. So these are the things that I'm reintroducing now. Um, I'm going to use my scrunchie and my headband. Um, I always go for silk. I have silk pillows. I think silk is just really nice. It's not just nice and gentle on your skin, but it's gentle on your hair. So I'm gonna put this on first. Something oil-based is how I typically start my nighttime routine because I have makeup on, even if I'm just wearing sunscreen. So I tend to use something like this. These are the two balms I've been using. Green Clean by Pharmacy, and this is Clean It Zero. It's by Benilico. But today, I don't wanna freak everybody out because this is something different that I've been doing, um, and I do it for all of you guys. I'm gonna be using this. Essentially a micellar water. It says cleansing water. It's really fancy, you guys like that? really, really fancy. I feel like cosmetic formulators are really having a moment right now on social media where they're really like seeing what's being put out there, all the information and stuff, and they're coming correct with it basically. They're like, no, 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 this ingredient is fine for you. This product is fine for you. And a friend of mine who is a cosmetic formulator has been watching my videos. So she sent me this and she didn't want me to judge it whatsoever. She said I was gonna love this stuff. I could definitely use it as my first cleanse and it was gonna remove all of my makeup and, and be tough on my makeup, but not tough on my skin. And I've obviously been using a lot of it, so I can't wait to tell you guys what it is because I don't even know. I'm gonna use one of those microfiber kind of cleansing towels just because it doesn't soak up too much. I feel like it's gonna help just remove the makeup. So I'm going to just put a little on the edge of it and I'm gonna hold it to my eye just for a few seconds. And then I'm just gonna gently wipe. The reason why I'm pressing it to my eye first is because you want it to loosen up the makeup, right? And if you're not doing that part, then you're just gonna tug and you're gonna be like, this doesn't work on my skin because it doesn't, uh, it doesn't actually remove my makeup. But if you just hold it there, it will. And so I'm just patting. You can see, no makeup. So remember, this is just my first cleanse. I'm not expecting this to completely remove all of my makeup and the grime from the day. I'm just, you know, using it as my first cleanse to, that way my second cleanse can um, get the rest of it off essentially and get this off of my skin too because you don't want it to sit on your skin. It's, it's like leaving a cleanser on your skin. You wouldn't just leave your cleanser on your skin. All right, so around this time I'd probably be in the shower and this is the cleanser I would use. It's by Crave Beauty. It's their matcha hemp hydrating cleanser. This is a very nice cleanser. It's a gel uh, consistency. It doesn't really foam up. I don't tend to like foam cleansers. There are some nice ones out there. I, I think I'm just kind of old school and when I think of foam cleansers, I think of like SLS and like really strong surfactants and stuff that are gonna strip your skin. This won't strip your skin and it will definitely cleanse everything. So this is the next step. I think a lot of people don't realize how important their cleanse is when it comes to their skincare. And this would normally, again, this would be a little bit more damp. So it would be lathering up a little bit more, but you can see that it has slips on my fingers are gliding over my skin really easily. And I'm just making sure I'm really cleansing because everything that you had on your skin that day, you know, it's just not good to leave it there and go to sleep with it because your skin is repairing itself at night. And I think of the nighttime routine, my friend Nina Desai, she's a board certified dermatologist. She said it perfectly to me. She was like, your nighttime routine is when you repair your skin and your morning routine is when you protect your skin. Yes. Clean skin should never be squeaky skin. All right, so while my skin is still damp, I'm gonna try to get this on there. It's by New Face. It is their uh, gel primer, and I'm gonna leave it open. I go through a ton of this when I'm using it, but I'm gonna start with one layer, and I'm gonna put it on almost like if it's a sleep mask, and I'm gonna go up my neck. I know I have my necklace on, guys, I'm sorry. I just don't really take it off. And I'm gonna use this, this is the new face. I've had this for almost a decade, it's not a joke. And it's something that I come back to. Um, 
you want to have your gel primer ready to go. You can use an HA serum, like um, an HA stands for hyaluronic acid, but I find that this is a little bit thicker and you might get a little zing here and there if you don't have enough slip um, and you know formula like between you and the device. But what this does is it's microcurrent and microcurrent helps to tighten your skin. I couldn't use it while I was pregnant because it's one of those things that you can't use while pregnant. So I have it back. So what people don't think about with pregnancy is you're literally gaining a ton of weight. I gained this last pregnancy, I gained 40 pounds and I've lost in just a few months at least half of that. So I'm gonna start here, right at like the collarbone and I'm gonna go up with it really slowly. And you gotta make sure you have that slide, you don't wanna tug. Hold and I can feel it. And so when you're losing weight, you lose that elasticity in your skin and people think about that in their bodies, right? Like you lose all of that elasticity and your skin starts to hang. The same thing happens with your face and your neck and as you get older, you start to really notice that again. And it's kind of like exercise. So you want to make sure that you maintain it and you keep using it because it's helping, it's helping to tighten all of your muscles essentially. All right, so normally right after I've done the new face, I will go right into a moisturizer because the new face is essentially a hyaluronic acid serum and you want to lock in that, that hydration that you're getting from it because it's a humectant and you don't want it to actually, you know, take out the moisture from your actual skin. So you wanna lock it in and that's what your moisturizer is gonna do. This moisturizer is by Biosense. It's their squalane and omega repair cream. I've been using this for a couple of years. I go back to it. It's not fragranced, which I think is super important when you're doing especially um, treatments like the laser treatment and everything. And also for the next step that you guys will see, it's gonna be retinol. Um, I also just like squalane. I really do. I think it works very well on my skin. So I'm locking everything in. I tend to like wipe and then pat. So I'm not just smearing it off of my skin. And I don't really go up, but I definitely pat it. And truly it's just so that it really goes on my skin and I'm not wiping it off. To me, moisturizer is really important. It's, it is a non-negotiable for me. And I know some people with like oily skin will say that they don't need to, but the oil that you produce is completely different than the moisturizer that you're gonna use. One of the big issues I find in skincare is that people aren't patient. They want to see results immediately and they don't want to go, they don't want to go through like the steps, like the baby steps that you're supposed to go through. And it's so important to have patience. It's actually something I had to learn. I, I didn't have any patience. Um, and what we tend to find is that people will just go like balls to the wall. Like they're kind of like, I'm just going to go with this. I, I'm going to go from like zero skincare routine to like a 12 step skincare routine, or I'm going to introduce a really strong retinoid into my skincare routine, but I'm going to use it every single night and not, you know, watch how my skin reacts to it. And then they end up with this irritation. Their skin is breaking. It's dry. It's flaking. They're getting breakouts. It's exact, it, you know, half the time, it's usually what we're doing to our skin that's making our skin have some kind of a bad reaction. So my biggest advice to everybody is to be patient. All right, so I went out and bought this. I actually have like a whole collection of different retinoids that I'm gonna start introducing into my routine. Um, this is kind of strong though, so I don't need a lot. I actually just bought a sample size because I know I'm not gonna stay, I'm not gonna use it for too long. It's 1% retinol, it's by Drunk Elephant, it's their A Passioni retinol cream. And what I want to show you guys, this is the, this is the important part. 1% is kind of strong and it's actually, that's more than I'm probably going to end up using. So I want to show you guys this. When someone says use a pea size of your retinoid, truly, when you're just starting off, I'm only going to use this once a week for the next couple of weeks because I'm just getting back into the retinoid game. It's been over a year because I was pregnant. It felt like I was like forever pregnant and I'm just going to, you know, smear it together. I'm just gonna tap it into my skin and I'm actually going to avoid my neck because I've been getting these laser treatments. The neck is really, really a sensitive area and you don't want to make it too sensitive. So I know that I'm still trying to get back into this and I know I'm doing these laser treatments and the skin is thinner in your neck area. So you don't wanna necessarily get it there. I got my moisturizer there, I got my you know, my HA serum there. So it has some treatment and it's good to go right now. I will eventually, you know, use a little bit of retinol there later on, but I don't need to right now. And I'm tapping around my eyes because I don't use an eye cream at night. I feel like I'm getting everything I need for my skin in this whole routine. And it doesn't have to be an elaborate routine for it to be an effective routine. I'm always surprised when I see these routines because, um, especially celebrities, you would think that they would be on some kind of a retinoid because it's really the only proven ingredient 
to truly make you look like you're youthful and have bouncy skin that's like, you know, even skin tone and everything. I, I actually could not wait to get back on retinol. People might ask, do I put stuff on my chest area and everything? And I actually do believe you have to bring your skincare, your skincare down to like your nipples. That's basically your face really. But um, you know, we're on camera and everything. I actually have a whole nighttime skincare routine for my body as well. Um, but uh, another thing people might ask is why I put the retinol after my moisturizer. Um, I actually will let my moisturizer sink in a little bit more. And the reason why you want your moisturizer to sink in is because when you're easing into it, if your skin is still damp, it actually helps the ingredient, the active ingredient, which in this case is retinol, absorb into your skin and penetrate a little bit deeper. And so it'll work stronger. So while I'm easing into it, I don't want it to be as effective. I'm trying to like essentially, I guess, dilute it um, and then get my skin used to it. And then eventually I'll start to pick it up and use it more. Maybe I'll put it on before my moisturizer. Maybe I won't use a moisturizer. So everything's gonna change, but this is where I'm at right now because I only stopped breastfeeding um, just recently. So I'm just getting back into this game. And then I always finish with some kind of a lip balm. This one is from Innisfree. It's a sleeping mask. And I just like my nighttime lip balm to be something thick. Um, because, you know, I'm gonna go to sleep and I'm not gonna reapply it for hours, hopefully, unless I wake up because of a baby. That does happen. I guess a couple tips that I wanna leave you guys with. One, if you're gonna introduce, if you're going to introduce some kind of an active, especially retinol, you absolutely need to use your sunscreen in the morning. We don't get to see what people are doing in the morning when we see their nighttime routine. Um, you have to use sunscreen anyway. It is probably the most important anti-aging ingredient you can use and product you can use in your entire routine is protect yourself from the sun and the UV rays, um, but especially if you're making your skin more sensitive by using an active. Um, the second tip I wanna say is this is my personal skincare routine. I feel like this is actually a routine that can work for most people, but remember that your skin, it's everything is personal. It's your skin and you only get your own skin once, right? So you have to be careful with it. You have to make sure that this is a routine that's gonna work for you and you probably have to experiment a little bit. So you can see my hair stayed in place like I wanted it to. Um, that was my nighttime skincare routine, my current nighttime skincare routine. You guys can ask me any questions. I'm probably gonna be answering because that's what I do late at night in bed on my phone. Um, I'm wondering who's gonna maybe potentially react to my skincare routine, any takers? Anyway, good night guys and thanks for watching.